five at Balakameen High School today. David dropped us a note and said, from society's point of view, surely correction is more important than uh, punishment. Uh, William, you were saying, uh, is rehabilitation more important than correction or is correction more important? Um, I think it comes down to the individual. And um, if you can correct a certain criminal's behavior, by all means, that's, that's a great thing to do and that's what society should do. Ew. And yeah, I would agree that is much better to do than punishing someone. Who watched the uh, prison, the greatest little prison in Britain, the the Manx TV program? Yeah, you watched it, did you? I watched an episode and got really bored with it because I was just like, this is embarrassing. <laughs> it's just embarrassing. Didn't you think it was a sweet little prison? Oh yeah. Very sweet mm. little prison. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Ben on the end. Uh, yeah, I did watch it. I quite frankly thought it was a bit of a mockery and a travesty to the whole Isle of Man prison system. And as someone who's had people in their own family work in the prison system, it's a shame to see what it's become. Because even in the uh, documentary, it was all dead light-hearted music when prison isn't supposed to be light-hearted. You committed a crime, you are there to serve your time. There's no room for enjoyment. You need to know what you've done wrong and need to be punished. Okay, you do politics, don't you? Yes, uh, I do. Um, uh, what do you know about Manx politics? Uh, I know a bit from my own research, but not so much from being educated at school. Uh, how much how much Manx politics do they cover in the polit in the politics syllabus here? Absol uh, in the official politics course, absolutely zero. But I believe in the Voltaire Society, they do debate it quite frequently. Yeah. Um, what interests you about politics? Uh, just the whole atmosphere of it, sort of. The idea of running something for someone, uh, also kind of creating the new path for the nation, yeah. kind of forging that new sort of journey that it goes on and looking at all the different ideologies and how some are similar and some are completely off and different to one another. Jack, do you do politics? Uh, yeah, I also do politics with Ben, yeah. yeah well, and uh, who are you going to vote for in the Manx general election? I'm going to be honest with you, I have no clue about Manx politics whatsoever since I haven't ever kept up with it and mm. I've never been taught about it so I don't really know. How many MHKs are there? No clue. All right. What's the Legislative Council? No clue. Um, so <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> it's okay. Um, uh, do you, Manx politics at all? Any ideas? I know a couple of politicians. Who do you know? Can you name some Manx politicians? They'll be really happy if you know their names. Uh, Howard Quayle. Chief Minister. Oh right, I didn't know that. And <laughs> Daphne Kane, Kate Beecroft, yeah. Chris Thomas, he's policy and reform.